Hey everyone, today's video is a fashion DIY of a super hot trend that we saw this past summer and that is definitely making a transition into fall. It's the lace up top and it's been seen all over the internet and even on some of your favorite YouTubers such as Lord DIY and Nikki from Nikki and Gabby Beauty. Now let's just get into it. First you'll need a plain colored top. It could be a tank top, a long sleeve, or even a short sleeve top. And as always, the list of materials will be listed below. You want to first match up the side seams of your top and lay it flat. When you lay it flat, make sure that the back of your top is not a clinging onto the front portion of your top because you don't want to accidentally cut it. Now you want to measure how low you want your v-neck to be. I recommend before doing that you measure on your body first. I didn't do that part actually so I cut mine a lot lower than I wanted it and you'll see that at the end but I cut mine about 11 inches down so I think 6 to 8 inches would be perfect. Once you've marked it, cut out the v-neck starting from the top shoulder seam and this will just give it a cleaner look at the end. Now just open it up and stretch out the raw edges of the V you just cut out to roll the edges in. For this next part, I recommend placing a piece of cardboard or something inside your shirt like how I'm doing so you don't accidentally sew the front and the back sides together. And don't worry, this is a non-sewing machine DIY, but you'll definitely need a sewing needle and thread. Now you want to lightly mark dots along the edge of your v-neck where you want your lacing to be. All dots should be equally spaced and parallel. The simplest way to think of this is to think of as if you're lacing your shoe. For this next part, you want to keep a pencil or pen on hand. This is the last step, but honestly it can get a little tricky, so please watch carefully. Take a threaded needle and put it through your first dot and make a knot or two. Then place your pencil against the edge of the v-neck and begin to sew around the pencil five to six times. Then just tie a knot to lock in the loops you created. Once you've knotted it, slip the pencil out and it should look like this. Just repeat these steps to create the loops on each of your other dots and you're done. I'm not going to lie, the first two loops were pretty difficult, but by the third one I got it down, so I'm sure you guys will too. But I'll show you guys one more time how I did it so you can have a visual to follow along to. When you complete all the loops, turn your shirt right side out and trim the bottom. When you trim the bottom, you want to cut one inch above the stitching. Now you want to cut off the stitching part of the bottom off completely. Keep what's left of the fabric and stretch it out as long as you can, but do this part gently so it doesn't break in half. And this part will be used as the lace. Now for the final, final step, just take a bobby pin to help you lace through the piece of fabric that you stretched out through all the loops and you're done! I hope you guys like this DIY and if you want more fashion DIYs, definitely give this video a thumbs up and stick around for the end to see my final product and how I styled it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Just give me you, just give me you, just give me you That's all I wanna do And if what they say is true, if it's true I'ma give it to you I may talk a lot of stuff, guaranteed I 